okay now uh, like these things like similarly so uh, container provides exit the database connectivity okay database connectivity so the so the developer or user uh, you, you don't have to worry about the connectivity you don't have to uh, major think about the uh, what is the connectivity how the setup and all okay so whenever user want a database connectivity yeah, they can use the jndi from here which is configured in the weblogic server it's a one time configuration suppose today you are using the oracle database tomorrow you are migrated into the sql server database so you don't have to change anything in your code you have to just change the jndi here you have to change the jndi configuration here and you will have it suppose there is a database migration suppose now you are using oracle 11g tomorrow you are going to use oracle uh, 12c then if something change is required in the connectivity with the new server name and all you have to just configure here in the container okay so these are the necessary resources provided by and application server here weblogic server similarly jm is java messaging api this is also point kind of configuration you can do in the weblogic server messaging api what is actually messaging api or messaging service messaging service is it's a simple messaging queue suppose you in in the in the whatsapp or facebook you have seen that you post some message to your friend and you can see a single a single dot or single tick right that means that message has been post from your mobile but that has not been received by the recipient so that message why it is not received not received because somehow that recipient is offline he is not able to take the message so that means somehow that message is placed in some queue you can say okay the first message that came in suppose i i post a sub time i so the in the queue it comes here fast okay so the message is coming from this side and it is going out from this side okay suppose i some i type the i i word then i type then i type m suppose i posted m then i type supio okay that means this three message are queue in a jms queue okay when the recipient become online when the recipient become online when the recipient become online this messaging queue understand okay this messaging this recipient has been come online so we can you can post the message from the queue so first it post the i it goes here then it post the m it goes here after that it post supio so when this this recipient come online this messaging message is being has been posted into the recipient server and this messaging queue is being cleared okay so this is this messaging queue this recipient can be anything any third party server like suppose google communicates with facebook so there this some message has been posted from google server it is in the queue and when facebook server comes online or um, that's the infrastructure come is available 